We continue to preview the upcoming football season on Midwest Sportsnet, and today we'll look at five of the top NAI wide receivers returning for 2023. If you're a wide receiver at Morningside, you'll have the opportunity to excel. Zach Norton has had that opportunity, and he has made the most of it. Even though he shared the receiver room with another great in Austin Johnson in 2022, Norton led the NAI in receiving touchdowns. He recorded 1,201 receiving yards, averaging 100.1 yards per contest, and grabbed at least one touchdown in 10 of 12 games played last year. He had an NAIA high 17 receiving TDs on the season. No matter who takes over at QB this season in Sioux City, he'll have a superb target to find in Zach Norton. Norton will get the chance to match numbers with Jacob Gathright in the first game of the season as Morningside will travel to Benedictine for a marquee non-conference season opening matchup. Gathright is coming off an All-American season, earning honorable mention. He finished the season with 1,173 receiving yards and seven 100-yard games. He averaged 90.2 yards per game and hauled in eight receiving touchdowns. Gathright also picked up 22.6 yards per catch, which was an NAIA high. In 2022, Gerald Monroe led the NAIA in receiving yards per game with 138 yards per contest and in receiving yards overall with 1,518. He was also second in receptions per game, hauling in an average of 8.5 catches each weekend. Monroe was tied for second in the country with 16 receiving touchdowns, and he was fifth overall in all-purpose yards per game and culminated his season being named second-team All-American. Monroe topped 200 yards receiving three times, including a 304-yard game against Baker. With the return of Cade Ross at quarterback for Graceland, the 1-2 connection of Ross to Monroe is fitting as Ross and Monroe wear the numbers 1 and 2, respectively. Brian Jenkins is coming off a strong season in 2022 as well and was an honorable mention All-American. His 12 receiving touchdowns placed him in the top 10 in the country in that category and at the top of the single season list for Olivet Nazarene. Jenkins had six 100-yard performances on the year and 920 receiving yards overall. He will be a big returnee for Mike Conway, ONU's AD, who is stepping back in to coach the Tigers in 2023. Michael Story is coming off a national championship season with Northwestern. He was sixth in the country in receiving yards in 2022 with 1,146 and averaged 81.9 receiving yards per game. He was also fourth in the NAI, bringing in 14 receiving TDs. He wrapped up his season with a place on the second team All-America list. He is among the returning pieces of the puzzle, along with quarterback Jalen Gramstad, to help the Red Raiders try to repeat in 2023. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe to Midwest Sportsnet, where we talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond.